Hey YouTube, Aiden Size Burger Bob here with a case with character. This is a seriously character case. Got a little monkey sticker right here. You may have noticed there's a bunch of like uh, really serious packing tape. I don't know where you get this stuff, but it's like the reinforced plastic stuff. It's got a skateboard sticker here. Holly or something? Hobie? I don't know. I'm not a skateboard guy. Sorry, sorry everybody. Um, quite a bit of the external uh, covering is gone. See, there's no more stickers, right? I think those are the only ones. Oh, no, we got this one on the end. Some radio station. I think this is in Florida, because that's where I got this from. <sighs> I really like the character of the exterior of this case. I love seeing the, the bell um, wood right here, because these pieces are wood. This is a Bach Corporation era French style case. French meaning not just a big old coffin box, but kind of contour to the instrument. For some reason, that's a French style case. Go back to this side. We've got a new style solid uh, plastic or, I don't know, something handle. It's super thick. Might be vinyl. Um, we've got replacement screws that are too long. They stick out really far. Whatever, that's not a big deal. We have a little latch that is completely broken. Doesn't do anything. And we have two latches that are not broken. Uh, let's look at the feet situation. We have four feet on the bottom. We have pretty messed up hinges, missing a nail here. This one is coming out a little bit loose. And then on the bell end, we've got four more feet. So already better than the modern box case. There's no feet or any protection on the bottom of this case. So this is pretty worn down. This and especially this corner pretty worn down from the clip on this end. Let's open it up. The latches are upside down from what I'm used to, and I'm not sure if all these cases are like this. I've actually had at least one other one of these in the base size before, but I didn't have it for very long. I don't think I ever used it. Ta-da! On the inside we have this blue, like, suede material. Um, I think there's a sticker here of some kind, because it doesn't usually look like it. Like this, I'm not sure what that's all about. Obviously this fits 42B and nothing else. It might fit a uh, straight 42, it probably would fit one of those. And I think maybe the small horns came in the same case. I'm really not sure, I have no idea. Uh, we got a nice big accessory pocket over here that fits three mouthpieces with little uh, swing out legs to keep the mouthpieces in place. And I keep my Yamaha strap in here too. And if I had lubes and oils and stuff, it also go in this pocket. Um, we've got a nice secure slide thing here. Um, and I've got my slide in here. The only dis or downside to this is this slide has been modified to be narrow. It has a con crook on that. You can see that in my 42 BG video. And this slide compartment is meant to fit a stock width um, 42B slide, which is base size. So this slide doesn't actually fit in this compartment. Real fast. Uh, no, that's not going to fit. I have one. Here it is. Bear with me for a moment. Here's a stock 50 slide. This is the exact same dimensions as a 42B slide, at least externally. This is how it should fit. Plenty of room. Um, kind of a little more snug because it actually fits in here. Well, too bad. That's not what's in here. It's this narrow slide. So it doesn't really fit. I'm not sure if they modified the case at all. So I feel like this wouldn't fit at all if it was unmodified. Barely fits in here. Still wiggles a little bit. Um, but thankfully, there's enough space in there that this will go over snugly. The slide really doesn't move at all. Um, I love these cases because it fits the horn perfectly. It does not wiggle a lot. This one might just because it's super beat up. Um, but it makes the case so much smaller. Check this out. Compared to my Mark Spana base case, which, yes, is a base case that's modern and it's very light. Uh-oh. Didn't close that. It's actually just a little bit smaller. And this base case is small. This is a smaller case than the Protec tenor case, even the newest version. This is smaller than that. Um, and this is smaller than my Marcus Bonnet case, which is awesome. Um, is this case as protective? Absolutely not. Not by any margin. But it is not unprotective. 
Let's put this on a scale from the bag. Right here, which is about the same size, it's nice and small. This is a tenor big bag, green and blues. To Marcus Bond in terms of protection, this would go right in the middle because it's not unprotected. It's not super protected. This will break, you know, without a lot of effort, especially in this shape. Uh, latches will just come undone and stuff. But it's still a lot more protected than the gig bag. And it's actually smaller than this. So that's pretty neat. Is it light? Not by any means. This case weighs a lot because it is solid wood all the way around. I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's kind of a it's kind of a monster. But it's not as much of a monster as the monster battleship over here. You now look at that size comparison. It's not even close. Ugh. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome little case. I wouldn't travel with this or anything like that. I have my Marcus Bana extra light case. That's not here with me right now, or I'll, I'd give you a comparison with that. But this is a really nice case. I use it for traveling around town. Rather than a gig bag, it gives a little more protection. I can put this in the back of my car and not be worried about it getting crunched up by the, the hood or anything like that. Um, the, the trunk, I guess. And it holds just enough stuff to be really useful. And it gives me a little bit of street cred when I bring it to a gig. So there we go. The Corporation Era French Style Bach Tenor Case.